Hi, my name is Alexander Gurkov, uh, the coach of the World Class Kegel Training Center. We are here today to talk about brand new Kegel coaching tools, Aero. And uh, today I'd like to talk with you what is it and how we can use this brand new device uh, in our practice session. Okay, first, the device looks like this. This is a very simple thing. It's very portable and flexible. So, for setup this device, we must find only two things. The bowling cup and bowling ball. I, I think we can find it on any bowling center. And then, when we have this device and bowling ball and cup, we're just doing this. I set up the bowling ball in the cup and then using this connection. Now I'm ready to use it. Look, this first part is telescoping. We can adjust the highness and because this is very flexible, I can remove any side what you want. And I really like this one. Look, because we have this connection, we can move and create any lines and any reference spots over the approach. General, general, uh, if you're talking about our physical game, and for example, when we're working with timing, it's very difficult to hold in our imagination all reference spot, all reference direction. If we have something visible and touchable over the approach, it's much more easy for our students doing something. And general goal for this device, create visible and touchable reference spots and reference direction over the approach. Let me uh, show you how we can use this device for walking, for example, with direction of timing of my pushaway. Let me show you how we can change the direction, the timing of pushaway, uh, and how we can use the arrow for doing this. For example, I have a little bit late timing, I make my pushaway on the third step, and direction of my, of my pushaway up and a little bit out. Let me show you how it looks like. One, two, three. Lay timing and direction of push away out and up. Yeah? But I'd like to change the situation. That mean I'd like to see uh, the direction of my push away uh, straight forward down the aiming line, not out, not in. And I'd like to uh, make a push away on the second step. How can I do it? using the arrow. Now the arrow show exactly my old timing, yeah? my old push away. One, two, three. You see, my arm and my ball slide down this line. How I can change? I do one very simple thing. I just remove the arrow and sit up it exactly close to my right foot on my second step. And then using this, I change the direction of my push away. And now it's, it was out, now it's straight down the aiming line and it's straight, it's horizontal, yeah? I can set up it absolutely horizontal. If I want, I can change it, yeah? And now, because I can see this line, because I can feel this line, now it's much more easy for me start to do my push away exactly on the second step. And because I can change the position, for example, I still not happy, it's still for my Feeling a little bit up, yeah? Little bit change, little bit more down, and this is exactly what I want. And one very important thing, because I have this, the arrow, exactly on the correct place, now on my practice, I can repeat this time, this new timing, this new direction of push away any time, any shots, and I want to be sure every time I, do, I, I make my movement correct. Okay, how to use, let's talk about how to use the arrow and fix two most common mistakes. I'm talking about, first, my ball too far from my sliding leg, when I throw the ball, when I make a release, and my elbow flying, I do chicken wing all time, yeah? So, sometimes the people don't feel it, yeah, it's very, uh, I am, uh, as a coach, talk a lot, of course, you must 
have the elbow on this position, the ball must be really close to your sliding leg, but my student still doing wrong. How we can fix it using the arrow? Let me show you. First, I set up the arrow over the fall line, and now this part, it's not really necessary for us, yeah? And I set up the arrow and make this line absolutely vertical. And is it vertical? Yeah, it's good. And then I set up the ball exactly between my sliding foot, my sliding leg and this line and my shoulder exactly over it. Now I can see this line. Now I can feel this line. And now if I'm doing the flying elbow, I hit it. Okay. And now I can swing. I can see, and now my swing and position of the ball exactly perfect. And if I'm doing something wrong, I can feel it, but it's not scary because arrow, it's very flexible. It just change, the stick just change position and then I just move it back. That's it. And now, now, when my student's doing this movement, when my student doing this drill, I'm absolutely sure every time this movement will be absolutely correct. And we can repeat this moment a lot of time. Good. And uh, one more thing. Let's talk about uh, my start position. Yeah, I worked hard, and finally, I find exactly what I want. I wa I, uh, I find the tilt to the right, the tilt forward, correct hips position, correct shoulder position. But every practice, I feel I do something wrong. Maybe sometimes it's good, sometimes not. I want to be sure every time I do absolutely the same and I create my muscle memory absolutely correct. So, how we can do this using the arrow? I set up the arrow exactly over my foot position and then using this, I can, now I set up this stuff exactly when my hips position, yeah? I can change this and now this is exactly where my hips. Then I'm walking with my tilts. I'm walking with my tilts to the right and I'm walking with my tilts forward and now, this is exactly what I want. And because now I set up the arrow on the correct position, look, I can feel my tilt to the right. I can feel my tilt forward. That means every time when I am start position, I am absolutely the same position. And that means I create absolutely correct muscle memory. And if something wrong, oh, just look and correct it. And now I'm sure my shot will be perfect. So, and of course, sometimes when we're working, when I'm in practice, I'd like to make a video. And so I, uh, it's, I saw it a, a, a lot of time when somebody asked, can you make video for me, yeah? But the handshaking, uh, this, I don't know this man, yeah? So if you have arrow, you can use the arrow like tripod. Let me show you. It's very simple. We can remove this stuff and then we're going to give you the phone holder and now I just set up the phone holder on this place and look what's happened. Now I have absolutely perfect tripod. I can change the position of my phone. I can change, make it deeper. Oh, highness and change any view what I want. So, if you have error, you have perfect tripod. Thanks.